But down inside the final furlong and a half, it's Sangria, the leader, being challenged now by Argas, who comes through in the centre to try to challenge. Coming through on the outside behind those is Dolly May as they race inside the final furlong. It's Sangria battling on next to the rail, but being challenged now by Argas and Robbie Colgan. Argas and Robbie Colgan comes to take it up from from Sangria with Dolly May and staying on well behind those is Bella Bell up to the line our guest with Dolly May in the centre and Dolly May in the centre gets up down inside the final furlong and a half it's Sangria the leader being challenged now by our guest who comes through in the centre to try to challenge coming through on the outside behind those is Dolly May as they race inside the final furlong it's Sangria battling on next to the rail but being challenged now by our guest and Robbie Colgan our guest and Robbie Colgan comes to take it up from from Sangria with Dolly May and staying on well behind those is Bella Bell up to the line. Our guest with Dolly May in the centre and Dolly May in the centre gets up to head our guest. Well, on the outside, Bella Bell probably got up for second. Alfredo Akana now being ridden along in third. Mudawi makes good ground from the mid division to go into four in the pursuit. Godhead just in behind those. Racing down inside the final furlong or so, and it's Punk Poet being challenged now on the outside by Mudawi. Godhead tries to run up behind those in third. Irish Acclaim gets going, but it's Mudawi and Punk Poet as they race inside the final 150 yards. Mudawi and Punk Poet on the far side. Mudawi and Punk Poet, little enough between it. Punk Poet on the far side is just going to get there. Punk Poet from Mudawi. Alfredo Akana now being ridden along in third. Mudawi makes good ground from the mid division to go into four in the pursuit. Godhead just in behind those. Racing down inside the final furlong or so, and it's Punk Poet being challenged now on the outside by Mudawi. Godhead tries to run up behind those in third. Irish Acclaim gets going, but it's Mudawi and Punk Poet as they race inside the final 150 yards. Mudawi and Punk Poet on the far side. Mudawi and Punk Poet, little enough between it. Punk Poet on the far side is just going to get there. Punk Poet from Mudawi. Irish Acclaim ran on in third ahead of Godhead four, and they were in front of Parker Sill, Alfredo Arcano. Past the two and it's Musel Sal and Scott McCullen now hit the front and go on by a couple of lengths to Dragon's Call. On the inside, Troub is making ground, fit for function. Just has to switch to the outside, but racing down inside the final furlong and a half. It's Musel Sal, the leader from going up on the inside now is Troub and Wesley Joyce as they race inside the final 150 yards. It's Troub on the far side of Musel Sal. Troub and Wesley Joyce gets through on the inside and goes on to win by a length for Johnny Murtert. Troub with the winner from Musel Sal in second. Past the two and it's Musel Sal and Scott McCullen now hit the front and go on by a couple of lengths. To Dragon's Call. On the inside, Troub is making ground, fit for function. Just has to switch to the outside, but racing down inside the final furlong and a half. It's Musel Sal, the leader from going up on the inside now is Troub and Wesley Joyce as they race inside the final 150 yards. It's Troub on the far side of Musel Sal. Troub and Wesley Joyce gets through on the inside and goes on to win by a length for Johnny Murtert. Troub with the winner from Musel Sal in second. Third was the River Runs Deep, head of Dand in four and Ploughboy five. And behind those races fast Kelt with trying to make ground on the outside, Bader Ginsburg. Heading down towards the final furlong, Chummy being taken now by C Appeal. Female approach now tackles that one on the outside as the race down inside the final furlong. And it's female approach and Colin Keane has come through in the stand side to head C Appeal. Bader Ginsburg runs on behind those ahead of fast Kelt. But it's female approach who's asserting inside the final 150 yards is going to follow up its win from Ferry House last night. Female approach and Colin Keane. And behind those races fast Kelt with trying to make ground on the outside Bader Ginsburg. Heading down towards the final furlong, Chummy being taken now by C Appeal. Female approach now tackles that one on the outside as the race down inside the final furlong. And it's female approach and Colin Keane has come through in the stand side to head C Appeal. Bader Ginsburg runs on behind those ahead of fast Kelt. But it's female approach who's asserting inside the final 150 yards is going to follow up its win from Ferry House last night. Female approach and Colin Keane. By about two lengths in the end from C Appeal in second. Third was Bader Ginsburg, four Queen of Manorainus. Into the straight inside the two furlong point and it's Snowy Owl who's battled his way to the front but being tackled now on the outside by Cape Isle and Cape Isle comes through to challenge and lead as they race down with a furlong to race and it's Cape Isle and Wayne Lord who take it up from Snowy Owl in second, Shamad in third, Blue Daisy running on on the outside ahead of, ahead of Blue Shadow but racing inside the final furlong, it's Cape Isle who asserts and goes on by a length and a half and racing up to the line. It's Cape Isle who's going to win this for Henry de Bromit and Wayne Lorden. Shamad is second into the straight inside the two furlong point and it's Snowy Owl who's battled his way to the front but being tackled now on the outside by Cape Isle and Cape Isle comes through to challenge and lead as they race down with a furlong to race and it's Cape Isle and Wayne Lorden who take it up from Snowy Owl in second. Shamad in third, Blue Daisy running on on the outside ahead of, ahead of Blue Shadow but racing inside the final furlong. It's Cape Isle who asserts and goes on by a length and a half and racing up to the line. It's Cape Isle who's going to win this for Henry de Bromit and Wayne Lorden. Shamad is second, Snowy Owl third. Staying on the outside, Moon Daisy before, ahead of Blue Thunder. 
and it's Colonel Slade, the leader, from Cosman in second. Third on the inside is Pirate Last. Tipperary Moon tries to lay cha down a challenge on the outside of these. Han Solo comes through on the outside of the wide outside is the Alpha Man, racing down inside the final furlong. And on the far side, it's Pirate Last from Colonel Slade, Tipperary Moon. Behind those, Sincerest on the inside rail. Coming through on the outside, both the Alpha Man and Han Solo as the race up inside the final half furlong. Tipperary Moon with on the outside is the Alpha Man. Tipperary Moon and the Alpha Man. And it's Colonel Slade, the leader, from Cosman in second. Third on the inside is Pirate Last. Tipperary Moon tries to lay cha down a challenge on the outside of these. Han Solo comes through on the outside of the wide outside is the Alpha Man, racing down inside the final furlong. And on the far side, it's Pirate Last from Colonel Slade, Tipperary Moon. Behind those, Sincerest on the inside rail. Coming through on the outside, both the Alpha Man and Han Solo as the race up inside the final half furlong. Tipperary Moon with on the outside is the Alpha Man. Tipperary Moon and the Alpha Man and between them, Han Solo. Desperately close finish. Fourth on the inside was Pirate Lass. And in the centre, it's Longbourn, the leader, being tackled now by protagonist and Shane Foley with Dream, with uh, Dreamtail quickening up well on the outside. And on the outside of these is French Rain. All change inside the final furlong. And it's Dreamtail has come through, but French Rain challenges on the outside under Shane Cross. Racing inside the final half furlong, it's Dreamtail on the far side of French Rain, little enough between the two. Dreamtail from French Rain, Dreamtail asserts close home and wins it for Andy Oliver. And in the centre, it's Longbourn, the leader being tackled now by protagonist and Shane Foley with Dream, with uh, Dreamtail quickening up well on the outside. And on the outside of these is French Rain, all change inside the final furlong. And it's Dreamtail has come through, but French Rain challenges on the outside under Shane Cross. Racing inside the final half furlong, it's Dreamtail on the far side of French Rain, little enough between the two. Dreamtail from French Rain, Dreamtail asserts close home and wins it for Andy Oliver and Roland Whelan from second French Rain. Longbourn was third. McPherson on the outside of Cormac and Santa Florentina but racing down inside the final furlong and half of fire being tackled now on the outside by Exuma and Wayne Lorden comes to challenge as the race down now inside the final furlong it's Exuma who goes on by half a length to a fire battling back on the far side racing inside the final 150 yards it's Exuma by half a length to a fire and is going to hold that advantage up to the line and racing up to the finish Exuma wins the last for Valley Doyle and Wayne Lord and McPherson on the outside of Cormac and Santa Florentina. But racing down inside the final furlong and half of fire being tackled now on the outside by Exuma. And Wayne Lord and comes to challenge as the race down now inside the final furlong. It's Exuma who goes on by half a length to a fire battling back on the far side. Racing inside the final 150 yards it's Exuma by half a length to a fire and is going to hold that advantage up to the line and racing up to the finish. Exuma wins the last for Valley Doyle and Wayne Lord from a fire in second. Close for third with McPherson staying on ahead of Lord Lucran.